all right guys today we are just unboxing wheelchair and you are gonna see what you receive and what are the parts spare parts and how we install that so we are just gonna show you thing you have to lay down the box and then pull up the chair pull out the chair like me that might be a little bit hard because it's fit for the box for avoiding the damages that's why okay so we are just going to unfold the wheelchair and see what parts are coming with the wheelchair in the storage bag first thing you have to open the footrest then just lay down the wheelchair and pull up okay the spare parts comes with the storage bag which is at the bottom of your seat and you just open it you will see the spare parts such as short charger remote control toolkit and the manual book as well which is guiding you to use the wheelchair so the joystick is at the bottom of your seat and then they use the zip lock to secure you can use a knife to get it out okay okay this screw helps you to just secure the joystick in the right position if you want to just move it you can just move it if you want to put back and then tighten up you can do that and then when you pull up no it's not gonna move this is the power of your joystick that connects to the battery you have to just push it and then you can tighten the screw if you want to use it on the manual mode with the power you have to make sure that it's on the D position which is lock position on over here with the yellow stickers make sure both of the motors are on the lock position this one and this one those are anti tips that which is supporting your wheelchair when you go up off the hill or down on the hill to do not fall down or just I mean crash or anywhere so these are adjustable you, you have to pull this one the black cap and then just pull the anti tip you can just adjust however you want until you hear like clicking sounds for example you hear that it's secured now okay after the power connection you can just see when you start up you will see the power on the screen which means full charged the first one is red after that the greens which means that fully I mean the battery is fully charged and these are the speed buttons you can decrease or increase the speed this is the horn button uh, this is how it works okay when you put on the unlock position let's see what happens if you just try to turn on the joystick and then try to move it's not gonna move the lights are flashing but there is no movement the reason because it's only just a manual mode which is you can push yourself now we are just going to show you how to adjust your backrest first thing you have to just open the screws a little bit and then remove the cushion you can just pull a little bit up or however you want until the top or lower than this it depends on you then you can just close the backrest cushion and then tighten up the screws okay so I'm just gonna show you the seat belt and the armrests how they are useful you can just open up and fill up the the armrest and just close it however you want whenever you want to get out or just get in and uh, here is the second option that you can use the seat belt for the saker and you can just tie it up so the wheelchair comes with few storage bags the first one is right here which is the biggest one and the second one is right here on the armrest like this one and this one so there are two more and the last one is the back pocket which is like you can just put some stuff inside of your cushion so this is also extra the charger comes with two pieces first thing you have to just plug in by itself and then you can use this side which is having the prongs inside and at the bottom of your joystick you can just push inside okay so there are two ways that you can charge your wheelchair the first one is from the battery second one is from the joystick 
and I'm gonna show you how to charge from the battery. First thing you have to remove this one. And then there is a clip like clamp right here at the bottom of your battery. You can just pull it out and then take it out. As you can see, there is a yellow color right here that you have to just open it, then find the prongs with where to go, then just put it up. Okay, this is how we put the battery back. You have to just push it and then pull the clamp right here. You hear the click sound like this, but it's already placed and it's ready to use. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how to just pair the remote control which is with which is coming with the wheelchair first thing you have to press this button like little bit and then you see the lights are flashing like red and green color but it is really like you cannot see even but you have to just focus on it after that you just turn on the wheelchair and the second you press on the horn button little bit don't leave it like five seconds you see only one green color at the center so one more time I do it, I press it and I see the color, then press the arrow button, then you see the lights are coming back, so I can use it. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how to fold it, first thing you have to just press these clips right here, the clamps which is holding. Uh, the frame in the lock position just press it a little bit and then fold it to the front like like this you can pull it 